Here, I'm gonna show you guys the bear crawl position transition into the one arm glute bridge. All right, so I know that's kind of a mouthful, uh, but hopefully when you see the movement, it'll make sense based off of the positioning you know, that I get into and out of. So uh, here again, we're kind of combining a couple of different movements into one, just to kind of add a little bit more bank for our buck and a little bit more complexity within some of our warm up exercises. So this is a really great full body, um, you know, stability and mobility routine to take yourself into, uh, especially for, you know, your more complex movements, such as a squat, a deadlift, um, you know, and those types of variations as well. Um, Cause again, we're really, you know, asking a lot out of the whole body within this movement. So I'm gonna start in a bear crawl position. So again, my hands are underneath my shoulders, knees are underneath my hips, back is nice and neutral, holding that glass of water on my low spine. From here, I'm gonna lift my knees up about two inches off the floor. So here's my bear crawl position, already in that position. Now, as I go into the one arm glute bridge, I'm thinking about rotating towards my left, my right hand stays in the ground. So again, my right leg comes through, right hand stays on the ground. I get a big glute squeeze through that right side. Come right back through to the same position. So now if I go towards the other way, my left hand stays in the ground as my left leg sweeps underneath me and kicks out straight. I'm thinking about driving my right heel through the ground, getting a nice high belt buckle, coming right back in. Show this one more time. Making a nice straight line, hand to hand. Again, big strong squeeze of that left heel into the ground, driving my belt buckle towards the ceiling. Coming right back into that starting position. 